Well, happy Thursday, everyone. We are making it to the second half of the week and we are looking at more sunshine out there. A little bit warmer yesterday, a little bit more sunshine. Winds start to pick up as we get into the afternoon today. We actually have a system trying to make its way on in. We're at the tail end of it. You see that right there? That's a dry, cold front. It's going to cool us down in some areas overnight tonight into tomorrow. But other than that, really not going to affect us all that much. Maybe adding some cloud cover to parts of Coos County out towards the coast, a little bit of Douglas County, and then winds increasing this afternoon in areas of the West Valleys and east of the Cascades. But still very dry. It is a dry, cold front. And even though we see some showers off to the north there, very few of those showers, if they even make it past the border, will make it down into our area. So the potential there for any shower activity, staying way up in the mountains and way off to the north of us. Other than that, it is dry conditions. It is windier conditions, so there's a lot of concern with that front coming on through for fire danger, especially east of the Cascades as we go over in the next couple of days. Going to get a little windy out there, so like what we saw on Monday, likely to see a red flag warning or at least a fire weather watch as we go over the next 24 hours. Getting breezy again on Saturday night into Sunday. A little bit closer out there though, but even less cloud cover to start out the day than what we saw yesterday. A little bit of fog, a little bit of clouds, but shouldn't last too long. Here's your pinpoint forecast and we're looking at a very dry day today. And then we had a little bit later into the afternoon. It's showing some potential and it was doing this yesterday around the Mount Ashland area. I think this is just over predicting a bit, but most of the moisture again staying off to the north of us. Otherwise we do add some cloud cover. This is 8 p.m. for your Thursday. Still a little breezy, but then the winds die down as we go later tonight into tomorrow. Here's Friday, starting the day out with some mostly clear skies. Keep on going through Friday into Saturday, then later in the day Saturday, winds pick up again. We'll add some cloud cover, but staying mostly well above average temperatures as we get into the weekend by a few degrees, really not that far above. We are looking at temperatures pretty far off of the triple digits we saw last week, just a few degrees above average on average. As we look outside today, 60s and 70s, probably a little bit warmer for Brookings and Harbor, but 69 degrees is what we'll go with as the winds are coming mainly out of the north and northwest. In the West Valleys, mostly sunny with some breezy winds. Temperatures in the 80s, a lot like yesterday. I'll say about 86 for Medford. We will warm up more tomorrow. And east of the Cascades, you're looking at sunny skies, 70s and 80s for your high temperatures this afternoon. And again, pretty breezy this afternoon as well. Checking out your seven day forecast, it's sunshine just about every single day. A little bit of a cool down as we get into Sunday, Monday, a little bit of a warm up towards Friday and Saturday. Today, just slightly below average temperatures. And then we go into next week back into the 90s. So temperatures not exactly the hottest, but still hot even for this time of year, just a couple degrees above average. Going to get breezy this afternoon in the Klamath Basin. So we We'll keep an eye on this with the dry conditions for any fire weather danger, but for the time being warming up a bit Friday, Saturday, a little bit cooler towards Sunday, Monday. Northern California also generally warming up as we head into the weekend itself and then slightly cooler towards Monday and Tuesday, but for the most part, temperatures slightly above average. And out on the coast, temperatures hovering around 70 degrees just about every single day. At times, a little bit of cloud cover and fog in the mornings, but mostly sunny skies in the afternoons.